Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And what you were, I was going to say listening to, but there's nothing there. Uh, what you were watching was my Texan PL310 ET tuned to a long wave frequency. Now, there's supposed to be stations on long wave. And I have never been able to receive one. Now, this particular one is supposed to be, and let me go back here to my map. This is supposed to be RTE Radio 1 um, in Ireland, possibly. And then there's a, oh, there's a, there's a ton of long wave stations in Europe and Asia. And they have some pretty powerful transmitters, according to the website I'm looking at. And I have never been able to receive one here in Florida, in the United States. And right now it's 6.54 a.m. Maybe that's not a good time to be listing. Maybe I should be listing uh, late at night or late afternoon or something like that. But now that I have... This setup where I have, let me zoom out here for a second, or maybe a couple of seconds. I have this laptop computer. This is an old laptop computer with Windows XP and that audio recorder, X quarter, that will record audio once a audio level is reached. So it's supposedly kind of compresses your recordings so you don't c record a bunch of noise which is what I normally get on long wave so I'm challenging myself to use this setup and try to capture or capture not try but capture a long wave station so the way this thing works uh, I record at very low f um, fidelity and therefore, I can let it run for a long, long time and store the audio that it's captured on the hard drive. What I need now is some suggestions of what frequencies to try. Like I say, I just picked this one off the map to 52 kilohertz. The, typically, the long wave stations are on like 150 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz. I did try a ATS and on this particular radio the automatic tuning and storage or scanning feature scans the bands one time only so it doesn't repeat. It would be nice if it would repeat but it doesn't repeat. But even if I if it did that it wouldn't be very helpful because I have no way of recording the frequency of which it's found. So if you have any suggestions of how I can go about this, a frequency that's quite active and fairly strong, if I go to this web page, and the web page is mediumwaveradio.com, and they have a listing and a map of all the popular um medium wave stations and unfortunately uh, I can't they've got oh maybe a hundred entries and unfortunately I can't sort on power or location so I can kind of eyeball it and see if I can you know find what would be considered a strong station because it's using a lot of power um, it looks like 2 million watts is a typical strong transmitter station. Now there's 2.5 million. And so the question is, which, which frequency should I try? I also see there are a number of frequencies which have multiple stations on that frequency. For instance, 207 kilohertz, 
has one, two, three, four, five stations throughout the world on that particular frequency. So I'm not sure even, you know, where to begin as far as tuning to a particular frequency. I just grabbed this one randomly, the 252 uh, kilohertz. I just grabbed that randomly, and uh, it's not necessarily what I consider a good one or a bad one. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know, so I need your help. Matter of fact, I'm looking at the listing now, and at 252, which is one of four possible stations the rte radio one that i talked about only has 330 i can't even read it my eyes are so bad 300,000 or 300 kilowatt power low compared to many other ones higher than some but kind of low um but let me see what the other frequent I mean what the other stations are on this band, on this frequency. I have one that is uh, called Algier King one and three, and uh, it is 1.5 megawatts. So that one on the same frequency, pretty strong station. I the only reason I picked this one is it was. Distance-wise, it was the closest to me. That's the only criteria I used. Um, so if you got any suggestions about frequency, station, time of day, um, for me in Florida to listen, I'd appreciate it. And then I will set this up to attempt to capture a long-wave transmission. But it will be my first. So that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you can help me, please leave me a comment or you can send me an email directly to trrs73 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.